As a cash specialist, one of my tasks is to maintain bank account master data. For risk control reasons, most companies implement approval processes for master data management. For bank account management, you can either use SAP Business Workflow or a dual control process to safeguard your bank account master data. In dual control mode, revisions are saved whenever users create, modify, copy, reopen or close a bank account. But these revisions have to be activated by another authorised user before they become effective. Let me show you what it's like to use dual control in bank account management. In the Manage Bank Accounts app, I search for a bank account. I want to update the IBAN for this account, so I click Edit. And then the IBAN button to generate an IBAN. I save the change and a message shows up telling me that the revision has to be activated by another authorised user. I then open Copilot, a tool for internal collaboration. My colleague Jim is responsible for activating accounts. So I start a conversation and invite him into the chat. I tell Jim that I need to activate a bank account. Rather than manually typing the bank account number, I can include the account that I'm currently working on into the chat using Add Existing Object, Current Screen. Jim checks his co-pilot and opens my request. To check my changes, he clicks the object and uses the link to navigate to the bank account. Jim clicks Show Changes to see what has been changed. The IBAN looks OK, so Jim clicks Activate. The revision is activated and the IBAN change is now active in the system. Jim then sends me a message that he's activated the account. I receive the message from my co-pilot. I click the object to check the bank account. This takes me to the account where I can see that the IBAN has been activated. If I want, I can also click View History to have a side-by-side -side comparison of this revision and the previous revision. That was quick and smooth. I send a thank you to Jim and now I can get on to my next task.